Why are we surprised? Why are we surprised? Hey, look! Here's my PS4 character transferred to PS5. Oh, wait, it's a new character. What happened? I'm going to put it out there immediately. Transfer char tra character transfers. Okay. <laughs> if you made a decision seven years ago to transfer your PS4 or Xbox One character to PC, you can't transfer that character now to PS5 or Xbox Series X. Even if you've kept playing it, you kept you know, doing stuff on it, you, maybe you didn't even go on PC for very long, you decided to go back to PS4 or whatever, you can't transfer that character anymore. If you do transfer your character, so if you're on PS4 or Xbox Series X, you didn't already transfer it to PC, but you do want to transfer it to PS5 or um, Xbox Series X, your character gets deleted on the old gen platform. Not unlike when the last time we did this, you know, when, when we did it from 360 to PS4, for example, you kept your character on 360, and then you had that character also available on PS4, and you were just, they became separate characters. Now, not the case. You transfer to PS5, you get it deleted on PS4. You transfer to Xbox Series X, you get it deleted on Xbox One. If you transfer to Xbox Series X from PS4, you get your character on Series X, you don't get to keep your character on PS4. But the worst thing is the whole PC nonsense. Because I made a decision seven years ago to transfer my PS4 character to PC, seven years ago I made that decision so I could have that character on PC, which I don't even have that character anymore, and I don't even have the character on PS4 because I spent the last year building it up after it was reset. But if you decided to transfer your PS4 or Xbox One character to PC, you can't transfer that character then to PS5 or Series X. Obviously, we already knew you weren't going to be able to transfer PC to Series X. That's fine. But you can't transfer the current gen character again because it thinks that you've already done a transfer migration to the PC version. So for me, my PS4 character got transferred to PC seven years ago, but I kept playing it on PS4, and that has been my main platform, and that's where I have all my cars, that's where I built up all my garages, that's where I'm the highest level, that's where I do all my testing on the PS4 character, even though I still have it on PC. The, the, you know, the, that character did transfer early on, but the P PS4 character is still it's far and away wherever that PC character would be. And that PS4, PS4 character with all those cars... Because I made that decision to go to PS5 to PC seven years ago, I can't take it to PS5. So for me, this is already dead on arrival, because I can't. I don't. I need to create a new character. I can't get the new cars. I can't afford anything. I can't do anything. I, don't, I can't test current cars again on PS5 because I don't have the, the, the available. And even if I did want to transfer my character to PS5. I wouldn't be able to play it on PS4 ever again. And that's that's okay, I suppose, but it's still a, a difference to what they did before. So, yeah. Dead on arrival for me at the moment. Hopefully Rockstar realise all of this and decide to change it because this is absolutely ridiculous. Um, please, for the love of God, allow it to be possible that a decision that we made seven years ago when we didn't even think that this game would still exist to go on to the next-gen versions of PS5 and Xbox Series X. Don't make that decision go against us now. Jesus. But anyway, um, that's my PSA, my public service announcement. Thank you, Stuart, for the $2 super chat. Rockstar have truly lived up to their own name. Um, so that's the public service announcement, and that is the biggest annoyance at the minute. It's basically dead on arrival at the moment if you're in that situation. Uh, but this showcase, I'm going to showcase all of the stuff that we found out in the Twitch stream. Don't get your hopes up, um, <laughs> because 
it's basically the same game again and all of the same bugs that we had previously are still here it's just got a little mini dlc with you know new some new cars um so we'll go through that then we'll go through all of the things that have changed and what's different both negatively and positively and then i'll leave it i'll leave it like that because i'm not i obviously can't test any of the new cars because i don't have access to them people i think i think are holding off on the character transfers because the whole community say on ps4 they're all racing together maybe half of them want to go to ps5 but if you kept your ps4 character that would be fine because you would be able to keep your ps4 character and just play with the guys back on ps4 when you want but since your ps4 character gets deleted i think a lot of people just aren't transferring which is understandable so here is the Los Santos car meet. This is my new character. He's called Test. <laughs> no, what? Is he called Test? No, Temp. He's called Temp. He might not be Temp. Um, and this is a Turismo Classic, but it's a faster Turismo Classic. So where do we start? Um, I guess let's start with... Um, right. So there is a new intro screen to GTA Online when you first load it up. There's uh... Yum. There, there's you, you can obviously go to story mode or online. This is from the Twitch stream because I'm not going to be able to see this again but it's a, basically when you start up a new character you see a new intro screen for GTA Online and then you basically go through an entirely new um yeah, it says Bruffy1322 because it's my account. It's just the character name that's separate is Test. Um, but you basically, you go through an entirely new character creation phase, which is what I did because I had to. Um, and you get $4 million to be able to spend however you want on four different businesses, but you have to spend at least $3 million of it. You can only take a maximum of $1 million into GTA Online with you. So if you're in, this is all if you're a brand new um a brand new player, brand new character, but since we can't do character transfers if we've already done it to PC, some of us might be brand new players. I'm I'm not going to do it all over again. I'm I'm saying that right now. Like I'm not I'm not I can't do that again. Um but yeah, um yes, they delete your old character if you character transfer. They delete your PS4 character if you're on if you transfer to PS5. Uh, so you get $4 million to kickstart your criminal career in GTA Online. That shows how the game has gone on. $4 million doesn't really oh, get you that scumbag. much. But in reality, you want to take as much of that as possible into GTA Online because you want to get a Kasatka and start doing Kaio Perico. That's really all you want if you're a new player. Um, and then you get different options. So you can be executive, gunrunner, nightclub owner, or biker. And then you can choose which one you have, and there's various pre-arranged uh, upgrades that you can choose from or not have. Uh, you can choose a warehouse if you choose the the you know the, there's basically a business and then a, a thing to help you run the business. You can choose a car. You have to choose one of each of these, by the way. You can't just choose nothing and take the four million into GT Online to do what you want, because when you choose a weapon, uh, wait, I've gone too far. Uh, you choose a weapon, and then as you can see, spend between $3 million and $4 million. So you've got to at least spend that amount of money if you're a new character. Uh, and then there's there's a fairly decent introduction. Like once you, I actually did this, obviously that's how you start a career. And then there's a fairly decent introduction. You sort of walk out of the police station that's my... There he is, Temp. Good old Temp. <laughs> um, but yeah, you walk out of the police station, which is quite a nice little touch, and you go through a tutorial where you can't do anything else. You can't access any of the, any of the other free mode stuff. You basically set up whichever business you chose. You, um, you, know, you get your first car. You learn about the game. It's actually a lot better, I think, for new players. How many people are going to be new players at this point? I don't know. Um, 
Okay, I didn't realize the loading screen was this long. There we go. So that's a new player starting. Um, you get whichever car you want. You know, you go pick up weapon. You do with your, your cutscene that we've all seen for whichever business you chose. You got to set up the business and so on. So that's that's for a new character, which a lot of us are going to have to do if we've already transferred our character to PC in the past. <laughs> uh, so it's probably better for new players. In terms of new cars, there's two new cars on Legendary Motorsport. We've got the Astron Custom for 1.7 million and the Coil Cyclone 2 for 2.2 million. Then on Southern San Andreas Super Autos, we've got the Karen S95 for just under 2 million. Feels like very priced like a tuna. Um, and the Arbiter GT for 1.5 million. So interesting new cars. I'm not going to be testing them anytime soon, so sorry for that. Um, and then not only is there those two, <laughs> we've also got the weaponized Ignis, which can also be used in races as well. Holy moly. <laughs> 3.2 million. So those are the five new vehicles that are only available on PS5 and Xbox Series X. Um, how special works? I should show. I should try to show the... Nah, it doesn't matter, I suppose. Basically, once you've done a bit of a time trial... Um, you unlock how special works, which you can see here. Uh, how was stood here earlier, but basically how takes over the LS car meet. Oh, there he is. He's over there. He takes over the car meet garage. Um, it's a very easy time trial. It's just, it just takes like five minutes and then you unlock this area. And in this area, there's specific vehicles that can be upgraded. So it's like Benny's, but with a different skin, essentially. You've got the Sentinel XS, the Hakucho Drag, the Turismo Classic, and the Banshee. Those are four existing vehicles that you can take into Howe's Special Works and upgrade with new upgrades. I'll show you how that works. But then there's also the five new vehicles as well. They can also be taken into Howe's Special Works and upgraded as well. Um, uh, and we do know that in the game files previously, we saw these four vehicles and also the Brioso RA and uh, what else was it? There was another vehicle that you could take, Devastate. The Devastate and the Brioso RA will probably also come to how special works probably as some sort of like drip feed or oh, drip feed take in the you know the take your devastated to how special works to upgrade it there might be some drip feed vehicles as well it's impossible for us to know um so yeah th those are the vehicles and they'll probably it feels like they're going to continue with this and maybe add new stuff um and and this is one of the, the, this is the Banshee. This is a regular Banshee, but upgraded with how special works. There's new livery. Most of the stuff is the same, but I'll show you, uh, I'll show you the Turismo Classic because the Sentinel XS, the Banshee, the Turismo Classic, and the Hakucho Drag, they are just still those versions. They don't turn into new versions. Like when you take it to Benny's, if you take a Sultan into Benny's and upgrade it, it becomes a Sultan RS and it's in a different class. That isn't the case with these. Um, if you take a Turismo Classic, I can't, I can't, I couldn't, I, I was clicking right on the D-pad and it wasn't doing anything. Uh, uh, someone in the chat earlier said they probably didn't let you transfer because they don't want modded PC accounts. We all know that modded, P you know, we all know that you can't transfer PC over to PS5. That was fine. It's the fact that you can't transfer your PS4 character to PS5 if you've previously already transferred it to PC. That's the problem. Hey, there you are. Uh, there's no new garages, no. 
So here we go. This is a Turismo Classic. It's got all the same stuff as a regular Turismo Classic in terms of upgrades. I've already upgraded this with how special works. If you haven't, it's basically just like Benny's. So at the very top of this category right here, it will say how special works, HSW upgrade. You do that, it will cost you a set amount of money. The first one is free, but it's essentially exactly like if you upgrade a car at Benny's. It just doesn't become a new vehicle. But when you do that, you get access to extra HSW upgrades. So HSW brakes, better versions of the brakes, HSW engine tune. You can see the acceleration bar now has two bars. Um, we've also got a few liveries, which is why the Turismo Classic and the Banshee obviously got livery support in one of the recent DLCs. Uh, no new plate. I don't know where people. I don't know where the yellow plates came in in that trailer. It must have been a bug because there's no new plates. Uh, the matte pearlescent glitch still works, by the way, for paints. Um, and there's new chameleon paints. This is a small selection of what's already been data mined from previous DLCs, so I'm sure they're going to be released in drip feed as well. Um, no new. Sp oh yes, HSW spoilers, but they don't add any extra traction over and above any other spoiler. Um, HSW Suspension, which adds an extra level of suspension that Turismo previously had none. HSW Transmission. And different stages of turbo HSW versions. So you've got your regular turbo, HSW Stage 1, Stage 2, Stage 3. The only reason I don't have all of these added is because I can't afford to apply them with this new character. Um, but these basically make these existing vehicles quicker and significantly quicker as well this isn't even fully upgraded this turismo classic and i took it around the test track and it got a, on a fairly if my first lap out i got a one minute two second lap time it went two and a half seconds quicker not even fully upgraded just than what it is normally so these hsw upgrades basically they add more power to the car there's no upgrades that increase the traction, so it's actually a good thing that, you know, we get more power. I've been talking a lot in recent videos about how cars are too grippy and it would be nice to have more power. So, you know, all of these cars that are available to upgrade here, they'll get a lot more power and their grip will stay the same. For example, the Banshee will go drive the Banshee. It's it, You can feel it. It's, it's a lot more powerful and I wouldn't be surprised if it ended up being quicker than the 900R. This is still just a regular Banshee and it still counts as a regular Banshee. But you're not this Banshee with these upgrades isn't going to be quicker than a Pariah. It's not going to be quicker than an Itali RSX because it's still limited by the grip that it have. But it might be more interesting to drive because it's more powerful. And uh, the mid-drive still works with it as well. But it's basically, you know. It's quicker in a straight line, essentially, with these new cars, with the HSW cars. They've got higher top speeds, better acceleration, but their grip levels remain the same. Um, and that will also apply to the new cars as well. So the new cars, you'll also be able to have them standard as they are, newly added, or you'll be able to add them to um, HSW upgrades and make them quicker in a straight line. Uh, so I'll, I'll show that list once again, just so you can see. Uh, so yeah, but these vehicles, they stay as these vehicles. It doesn't, you know, like I said, the Turismo Classic doesn't turn into the classic custom or HSW version. The, uh, the Banshee is still a Banshee. If you take the Banshee into um into Benny's and you upgrade it it becomes a Banshee 900R if you take a Banshee into HSW it just stays a Banshee so the Turismo Classic can be used in sports classic races it's already at the top of the class but fairly well balanced with the Cheetah Classic and things like that this Turismo Classic with all these extra upgrades will be far and away quicker than anything else in the class 
you can disable HSW upgrades in the job menu. That's one thing that Rockstar did right with this. And it defaults back to fully upgraded, but without the extra HSW upgrades. So you can turn that off in the race menu. So if you're in the race menu and you don't want those cars available, you can do that. That's the one good thing that Rockstar did. And it will, you can still use the vehicle as well. It will just have the regular turbo, the level four engine, level four transmission, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, all of these vehicles are gonna have their regular versions and then their HSW upgraded versions as well, which I've just realized is gonna be a nightmare for testing because I'm gonna to have to test each of them twice. Ugh, I'm not testing any of them at the minute, to be fair. Uh, right, so that's vehicles. Uh, we've talked about the character transfer, did the big PSA about that. Right, a few of you have mentioned it in the chat already. One of the main issues that I've experienced and everybody else has experienced, and it's actually been enough that it made me feel a little dizzy, honestly, as soon as I drove in the game. Thank you, It's Kane, for the £2 super chat, by the way, and Sir Boring Old Fart for the 34 months. Um, of being, a, of being a member. Um, motion blur. There is motion blur and you cannot turn it off. And it honestly, it makes me feel dizzy driving in this game. As soon as I start to drive properly on the time trial for how special works, I start to feel dizzy. Um, so, from a graphical perspective, the game does look nicer than, say, the PS5 version does look nicer than the PS4 version. You're getting 60 FPS uh, most of the time. I've ha I have found that it doesn't always stay at 60 FPS, so it's not consistent, even in performance mode, and that's not with the ray tracing or anything like that. Um, so this is currently in 60 FPS mode, but you guys can't see that because the stream is at 30 FPS, but you can go to your display, you can switch between performance, which is 60 FPS with no ray tracing, performance RT, which is si performance 60 FPS, but with ray tracing. So you'll probably get less frames, but you get ray tracing, but honestly, we couldn't find a difference in that. Honestly, it's, it's minor. Um, and Fidelity, which is 4K, native 4K, but 30 FPS, and it looks horrendous. It looks so much worse than the PS4 versions do. I think it struggles to get 30 oh, FPS in 4K, honestly. It's almost, it might be the motion blur that makes it worse, um, but it's almost like I'm looking at 20 FPS. But it might be the motion blur that makes it feel. Uh, this is this this is knocking me sick already. I can't. I can't. Ugh. Yeah, I think it's the motion blur that ruins all of it. To be honest. Um, but yeah, that's performance, and this is performance with ray tracing. I mean, even when we did it at night with lights and things like that. I just couldn't notice a difference. So, in order to maintain 60 FPS as much as possible, I'm just going to keep it on performance. But even then, it doesn't stick at 60 FPS. I'm used to it just being like 99% of the time on PC at 60 FPS because I've tuned my settings to make it be 60 FPS all the time. But sometimes you'll see it dip down to like 40 FPS and 45. And if you're in a big lobby with 30 players in a, in a stunt race, I can imagine it being there as well. Um, so yeah, it's the motion blur, honestly, that is the problem. That's, that's a big problem. Um, you can't turn it off, like I said. And it, it's making me sick, just... It, it makes me dizzy. Um, and if it's not going to hit 60 FPS all the time anyway... Ray traced puddles. Is ray tracing going to have an effect on the puddles, do you think? Uh, 
So I think I don't I don't I didn't I the performance RT mode I'd just leave it alone honestly. I would leave alone the fidelity mode as well because 4K 30 FPS it looks horrendous as well. Just leave it on performance and be done with it. There isn't that much I don't I haven't noticed that big of a difference. Like this is when you're in performance mode at 60, it's upscaled 4K. And it looks really good. Like the textures and all that kind of stuff looks really good. It looks like, you know, PC at very high settings and all that kind of stuff. So from that perspective, it looks better. But I don't notice that much of a difference on the textures and everything from upscaled 4K to, you know, native 4K with the fidelity mode. So you might as well just stick to having 60 FPS. Um, the controller, if you're on PS5, does have haptic feedback. Um, if you have vibration on, it will vibrate when the engine is running and the triggers you can feel it under braking and stuff like that and shooting it's not that big of a de deal to be honest not that big of a difference but um the graphics are definitely better for those saying it doesn't look that much better it might be because you're watching it through the stream but the graphics are definitely better although i do have some comparisons you might again you might not be able to see it too well um but can you notice a difference? Can you notice a difference? Which one is new gen? Which one is old gen? I did this on the stream earlier today. <laughs> um, so this one is PS5 and this is Xbox One. This was at exactly the same time in exactly the same place in GTA Online, so everything was all synced up in terms of time and all that kind of stuff. But this is this is Xbox One, this is PS5. The second one you might notice it a little bit better. This is Xbox One. If you look at sort of here, um, the signs over here, and then this is PS5. It's definitely more clear. Things are just a little bit. Oh, sorry. The position has changed in the car as well in first person. You're a little closer to the seat on new gen. But it's basically, yeah, it's 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 slightly cleaner, crisper on the new gen versions because you were at 1080p on the PS4 and Xbox One versions. You're probably running at like 1440p on the new gen versions, upscaled to 4K. So it is a little bit sharper and it does look nicer and 60 fps is definitely nicer if you've never played it on pc you know it's a lot better at 60 fps than 30 fps but if you've played it on pc before and you've experienced 60 fps it's just the same as that essentially with some graphical settings turned up the only problem is motion blur that's the main issue the fact that motion blur is on is horrendous um Let's see, what else? Yeah, the adaptive triggers, uh, that's all, that all works, but it's not it's not a major. Like You can just feel it in the triggers when you're braking or accelerating or something. Um. Oh yeah, the traffic, you may have noticed. You may have noticed. It's funny, this traffic looks just like it did back in 2013. Hmm, surely with the Expanded and Enhanced Edition, Rockstar wouldn't keep the same old traffic. We've had so many DLC cars since then. That could just quite easily be put into traffic and at least refresh the game in some way. Project Homecoming 5M server changes the traffic on a monthly basis for the 5MG friends. Surely they could make a one-time change. But no. All the traffic is exactly the same. It's exactly the same as what it was in 2013. The game is exactly the same as what it was on old gen in terms of traffic. The game is exactly the same as what it was on PS4 in terms of most of it, honestly. Um, they literally mentioned in the news wire it would be different. Oh, they mentioned it for single player it would be different. 
this is online. They didn't mention anything about online. You can see why they dropped the expanded and enhanced name, and you can see why they didn't talk much about online in those news wire posts. Um, but not only is the traffic all the same. All the bugs are the same as well. Let's see, bookmark jobs. I want to go to page two. Look at my bookmark jobs. Oh, I think I want to play a track on the first page instead. Okay, I'll press left on the D-pad to go back to the first page. Oh, no, that hasn't been fixed. That's still broken. Uh, wrenches in stunt races is still broken. What else is still broken? Um, apart from the character transfer bollocks. Uh, Well, I can tell you what isn't, what what's not broken, but is exactly the same. Uh, well, yeah, you can choose weather in stunt races. Still, um, the the creator has had no changes whatsoever, apart from new vehicles added, like the new ones. So you can't. There's no increased prop limit. He gets such a huge boost from. <laughs> there's no increased. Uh, you know, more more choice from props themselves, like using arena props and other stuff. Um, yeah, the water respawning in the water is still broken. So if you re if you get your car in the water, it will still respawn you, as we've experienced in G Freds. That's all broken. Basically, it's exactly the same game as what you've experienced on PS4. All of those bugs that you've got on PS4, all of those issues that you've got on the current PC version, Xbox C what's One version. All of the same bugs is there. In terms of quality of life updates, there's not an awful lot. They've renamed some stuff, like Creator is now Rockstar Creator. Jobs is now Quick Join, and you can Quick Join from there. Um, you've got Manage Characters here, Migrate Profile. There's a few extra things, but the pause menu is pretty much all exactly the same. Um, all of the settings are the same, apart from the performance, graphics modes, things like that. Um, the interaction menu is exactly the same. They've renamed the hide options, map blip options. They've renamed it and added a few extra things so you can hide and show more things. Um, but that's all the same. It is essentially the same game that we've all just been playing on PS4. But it's got. But now you can access 60 FPS on the PS5 version. And some new cars with like a mini DLC. Have they fixed any advanced handling flags? I have no idea. Because I don't have the cars to be able to try it out. Probably not. They're not going to have changed anything, let's be honest. If they're not changing the traffic and they're not changing any of this, like, uh, they're not changing... Um, they're not changing car, uh, the, the car's performance. What else? Um... So yeah, stuff like the faction or the Vamos being fixed or the Xenos mirrors, I can't check it because I don't have the cars on the PS5 version. Um, I'm not going to be able to do any lap time testing because I don't have the cars. Um, oh yeah, that's one thing that you can do. Uh, supposedly you can copy the specification of a player vehicle at the LS car meet. That's a new thing with the how special works stuff. So if someone, if, you, if you've if you got two people in an LS car meet um, and one person has a car and the other person wants that car, they can buy that car directly and the other person will make a little bit of money from that as well. Uh, I don't know how much that costs, how much that will, that will be. Um, but you have to pay. It's basically give cars to friends glitch monetized, so you can you can pay to have somebody else's car. <laughs> it'll it'll cost a lot, obviously. I imagine it'll probably cost more than just buying it separately and doing it yourself. But how does that work? Yes. Um, Iron Espio with the five dollars super chat. Do any of the cars feel any different in terms of performance? <sighs> I don't know. I don't have my cars. <laughs> uh, to be fair, the Turismo Classic didn't. I, I went into Turismo Classic race 
uh, without the upgrades and it felt just the same as before so in terms of um, in terms of sort of big physics changes that hasn't happened and we were never expecting that to happen all of the cars are going to be pretty much the same as what they were it's just the new stuff that you know is different um, one interesting thing as you might have seen earlier all bookmarked jobs still work these are all my ps4 bookmarks jobs aren't cross-platform um, so I don't have any of my Xbox bookmarks here still. They, they, they haven't made jobs cross-platform from Xbox to PS4. But it seems like jobs are cross-platform between PS4 to PS5. So all of these, like I say, all of these jobs are PS4 bookmarks. They're PS4 jobs. They're jobs that are currently on the PS4 version of the game. And in previous years, for those who are going to say that they're all through Social Club, with the Xbox 360 and stuff like that, those jobs had to be transferred with the player. You know, you couldn't, you couldn't just play an Xbox 360 job on PS4. They had to come with the player. Um, but now they're all just available, it seems, which is good. That's at least one good thing that they've done. Um, they do work. I tried them on the Twitch stream. You can't play with PS4 players, no. <laughs> Definitely a way on that front. Um, so, as you can see, we've got it at the bottom here. HSW mods enabled or disabled. So if you have them enabled, the Turismo Classic, for example, will be able to have all of those extra upgrades. In some instances, you might want to keep that enabled. Like, for example, the Banshee. The Banshee might become one of the top cars, but not overpowered. So you might as well just leave that enabled. And then if anyone has an HSW Banshee, they can use it with, you know, the top cars. But, for example, if you wanted to do Sport Classics, you would want to disable that because... The Turismo Classic, as it is right now, is perfectly balanced with the Cheetah Classic and all that kind of stuff. With it enabled, it's just absolutely OP. But yeah, this is a this is a PS4 job. This is a job on PS4, um, and I'm able to play it on PS5. Um, I don't know what's different in single player, by the way. A few people have been asking about single player. I I don't know. I haven't even checked it out. I'm not really interested. Um, and just to... Did I leave on GTA mode? I don't, is it on standard? Oh, no, there we go. Uh, just to show you that... Um, the classic issue... Wrenches are not fixed in stunt races still. My car has damage. Should be fixed by wrenches in the pit lane. But it won't be fixed. So it's really unfortunate. And I can see why they kind of didn't hype it up as much as they could have done or release any information about it. They were, they were very, you know, not interesting. That one worked? What? What? This didn't work earlier on PC. Uh, on the Twitch stream, I mean. What? This, this didn't work on PC, uh, on the Twitch stream earlier. Okay, now it's not working. 
Is it because I had damage on my character from hitting the wall too hard? Yeah, I think it is. It's because it's a new character, so it gets killed. It gets health taken off it easily. Yeah, it's because of that. Okay. Yeah, it's because of health. If you just break it... Oh, I've lost health anyway. Yeah, it's because it's a new character. So they're still not fixed as they should be. You still have to have some external damage or character damage, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, at least... Uh, at least we've got a, a you know PS4 jobs all working on PS5. That's nice. New racing meta, don't level up. That's it. If you want your car to be fixed in stunt races, don't level up your character. But yeah, all in all, it's pretty much the same game. It's you know there's there's all the same bugs are still there, both the positive ones, like the matte pearlescent paint glitch, and also the negative ones, like wrenches not fixing your car without external damage, or cars respawning in the water. Just you get 60 FPS with an added amount of motion blur, and a mini DLC with some new vehicles and some new upgrades for existing vehicles. It does look better. It, it, you know, it is an upgrade on the game it's just there's a lot of things that you've got to um what's the word i'm looking for there's a lot of concessions that you've got to make to get very small upgrades like if you're on an entire community like i was saying on ps4 are you really going to transfer your character if you can, um, to get such minor improvements on on PS5, because you're not going to be able to go back to PS4 because they're deleting your PS4 character when you transfer. It would be a easy decision if you didn't have to delete your PS4 character for it. You'd just migrate your character, and if you wanted to go back to PS4 to race with people who are only on there at the moment, you can go do that. But the fact that you've got to now make a choice because you don't get to keep your PS4 character when you transfer it to PS5. And if you're like me and transferred it to PC, you can't even transfer it at all. So, and then the, 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 the upgrades are a few new cars with new performance upgrades that make them a bit quicker in a straight, a straight line. 60 FPS with motion blur and some better um, textures. Like that's kind of it. That is That is it. There's nothing more I can talk about. I think that's it. I've covered it. And then, yeah, there's going to be less people on the next games anyway because people can't get Series Xs or PlayStation 5s. You're going to have much smaller player base on the new versions. At least it's free on PS5. So if you're on PS5, if you have a PS5, or even if you want to go on the app, the mobile app, and try to get it, you can at least download it and like keep it in your library for later. But I, I think was it um, when did I upload? It was the the update video, the weekly update video on Thursday. Um, I said. The prices that they have now are the prices that they should be. But they're only the prices that they are now for three months. It's $20 on Xbox or $10 on PS5 for the full version of the game. $10 on Xbox or free on PS5 for the online standalone version of the game. But also keep in mind, it seems like you can't use the Rockstar editor unless you get this full version of the game. Um... But that's only for the first three months. So in three months' time, the full version of the game is going to be $40 and $20 for online. This isn't worth $40 or $20. Free or $5 for online and another maybe 5 to $10 maximum for single player. 
if if it's just these upgrades again i don't know whether they've done anything different for single player more so than this but at least from online i said in that video on thursday it's up for it's up to rockstar to, I, I can't see how it's worth 40 dollars even before we'd seen it and i said it's up to rockstar to show me that it would be worth that kind of price to upgrade it really isn't Forty dollars, even twenty dollars for the online upgrade plus the new console. Yeah, no chance. So get it if you're on PS Five. Get it while it's free. If you're on Xbox Series X, maybe if you want to part with ten dollars, it's pretty cheap. Just to get the Xbox, just to get the the online version. I wouldn't bother with single player. Um, and just even if you don't transfer your character or do anything with it now. Just keep it there in your library whilst get it while it's cheaper if you think you're even going to play it later on. Hopefully Rockstar sort it out. You know, hopefully they keep adding to it and make it worthwhile. Um, hopefully they fix the character transfer shite. Um, but as of right now, for me, as Biscuit the Cat says, this is dead on arrival for me, the PS5 version because I've already transferred my PS4 character to PC seven years ago. And even with that, even if I did transfer my character over to PS5, even if I was allowed to do that, the motion play, I don't know whether I can get past it. Make it, you know, made me dizzy. Still makes me dizzy. So, and none of this is on PC, of course. For those who don't know already, I see people still asking about that. You can't get all of these expanded and enhanced features on PC. Not yet, anyway. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I genuinely don't have any plans right now. I have no idea what to do. I've had a massive curveball thrown at me. I was going to, I was going to you know, transfer my character, have all my stuff on PS5, continue to do what we would normally do, um, over there instead. I probably might've been able to get over the motion blur. You know, maybe do the heists again or something like that. Uh, test the new cars, obviously. Can't do any of that now. I'm not starting again. I'm not I'm not creating a new character and going through all that grind again. It's not happening. I'd rather just keep playing on PS4, to be honest. <laughs> uh, so I'm playing on 5M at the weekend on Sunday stream. I'm playing Project Homecoming. So I don't need to make a decision right now. But, you know, sorry in advance, I can't test the new cars. Um, I can't, and I would have to test them twice as well anyway, because I'd have to test them with the HSW upgrades and without. So, um, you know, and, and I don't think people are transferring their characters. I think the, there's going to be a lot of people who just stay on PS4 because half of the people don't have a PS5 to transfer. Half of the people who do have a PS5 have already transferred their character to PC, so can't transfer. And then the rest of people who might be able to transfer don't want to because everybody's staying on PS4. It's just a mess. So, yeah. Dead on, dead on arrival, unfortunately. Um, it, this, it, does, it releases um, at midnight UK, midnight local time, wherever you are. Or it, it depends. if you, It's like midnight Eastern, I think, for US, so... PS4 um, Western players get it at 9 p.m. or something like that. I don't know, but it's basically it releases at midnight. Like in the UK, the expanded enhanced should release from uh, it should be releasing in what eight hours, something like that. Mid uh, ten hours, midnight tonight. I've got it early because I have a New Zealand based account, so it's already out for people in New Zealand. Um, but it wasn't worth it to be honest. <laughs> I would have been all right just waiting because <laughs> yeah it's 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 the same game again not many quality of life upgrades all the same bugs are still there 60 fps with motion blur and a few new cars that's pretty much it and character transfer is sketchy at best um so i'm sorry I'm sorry um, that I can't do anything more for you. 
We got the HSW time trial. I mean, we could try this. There's HSW time trials and HSW races. God, this looks absolutely horrific when you're uh, a new player. What is this? Featured series. There's the HSW race series. But again, you can only... You can only use HSW... Um, HSW vehicles with the HSW car. Uh, you can only use the HSW vehicles for the HSW time trial. You can't do these in normal vehicles. Wait, where am I going? Seems easy enough. So, yeah, hopefully it's been... I, I was so, I was so, you know, do I even do a YouTube stream because there's not an awful lot to showcase and it's just going to be me complaining for an hour. But hopefully, if nothing else, it's been helpful for you guys to see what it's actually like and make a more informed decision rather than just changing. There's going to be people who will transfer and they'll be in the right position to transfer because... They've only ever been on PS4, they've never be experienced the game on PC, and it's a big upgrade from PS4, and, you know, all these little foibles aren't going to make that much of a difference. And so, you know, don't get me wrong, it will be okay for some people to transfer, and you'll probably have some fun with it, but it's just, there's a lot of concessions that you need to make, especially if you're part of an existing community already. Or, you know, you get dizzy from motion blur, <laughs> honestly. Or even if you have the game on PC, frankly. There's nothing here that makes it look any better than what it could look on PC. And you can turn off motion blur on PC. Damn, this time trial really was easy. Thanks, traffic. But for those people who've never experienced the PC version of the game, they've only ever played it on PS4 or Xbox One, you know, it will be a nice upgrade for you. 60 FPS and better textures does look nicer. Uh, how much did I get for that? I don't know how much I got for that. I might be able to fully upgrade this Turismo now. Hey, we'll do a little test. I've got money now. I don't know how much I got, but I've got 270k in my account. I previously had nothing. That might have been 200 to 250k for doing that time trial. It was so easy as well. That's easy money. <laughs> session I thought I was. What about the four million? Well you've got to spend three million of it and with all the things that I actually decided to buy with this new character I came into GT Online with like 200 or some thousand left over and uh, then I upgraded this Turismo Classic as far as I could. Couldn't see the payout on the stream. Yeah, I was covering it, wasn't I? I just can't understand why the character transfer has been so badly handled. Surely they should have understood that there would be people who want to transfer their PS4 character to PS5, even if they've already transferred it to PC seven years ago. They haven't had the ability to transfer a character from PS4 to PC for God knows how many years when they stopped it all happening. Uh, right, I upgraded all that stuff. I can finally get transmission. HSW transmission and turbo almost double maxed out acceleration bar not that those bars mean anything that is fresh to death 
We can put suspension on it as well because the Turismo doesn't normally get suspension. Stock spoiler gives me the traction anyway for this one. Nothing new with the creator. Again, all of these things that people are asking about, is there anything new with it? Um, you know, cross-play, cross-platform jobs, new good car physics for existing vehicles, new stuff in the creator, bug fixes for the exit. None of it. It's all exactly the same as the original game, the game that we've just been playing on PS4. Do you think they didn't allow PC to next gen because of money mods? Well, yeah, but that's not the problem. We always knew they weren't going to allow PC to next gen. That's fine. This is basically the PC version of the game anyway. It's if you have a PS4 character that previously transferred to PC seven years ago when PC came out, but you've still played on that PS4 character and you want to transfer that PS4 character to PS5, you can't do that because you've already, they consider you as a, having already transferred it to PC. My, my current PS4 character with all my garages, all my cars, and I've worked so hard to build back up, it's impossible for me to transfer that to PS5 right now because seven years ago I decided to transfer what it was back then to PC. All right, let's see how quick this Turismo Classic actually is with all of its upgrades. Remember, this is at 60 FPS, but that might give it an extra, I don't know, a couple of tenths or something like that. So again, nothing has changed with the handling of the Turismo Classic with all these upgrades from a um, from a grip perspective it's still it's still the same levels of grip in the corners it's not going to corner any quicker so it's always going to be limited by that it's just going to be quicker on acceleration and top speed and that will improve its lap time but you know, for example, the Banshee isn't going to suddenly become quicker than a Pariah around a lap. Oh, that understeer. And to be honest, it's a good thing. It's good that we're getting new... Uh... Jack, are you really asking if there's anything new with the creator again when I just answered you? <laughs> Yeah, a lot more understeer because we're going a lot quicker. Not just because of 60 FPS, but all of these straight line speed upgrades. But it's a good thing. Um, it's a good thing that that is possible. Because I've been saying for a long time that the power to traction ratio has been too low. Having more power to less traction is actually more interesting to drive and race with. I'm only going to migrate if I can play with people on last gen consoles, but then you're never going to migrate. That's just not going to happen. So I think the Banshee could end up being a really fun car to race with. Man, I'm struggling to... I wonder if it's better with stock suspension. Um, but yeah, the, the Banshee might become... Like, the Banshee was always pretty nice to race with, but it might be even better now with all the extra upgrades. It could be a really, really fun car to drive, the Banshee. Not that I'll ever get a chance to drive it. <laughs> G 
Jesus, a one minute one and I didn't even, I made a mistake. <laughs> friggin' Sports Classic. Turismo Classic at friggin' Supercar Lap Times. And you can just use it in Sports Classic races with all the other Sports Classics if you don't disable HSW mods. Driving skill on the character only impacts your ability to uh, control the car in mid-air. It has no impact on your actual ability to control the car when driving. With a proper lap, I think I think that's a one minute lap time. That's quicker than most supercars. Should we do a quick top speed test? Might as well while we're here, and then we'll end oh, the what stream. A scumbag! Uh, D's nuts with the simple scumbag. Nine months in a row, such a rockstar disappointment. Nothing ever changes. It's true. I mean, we shouldn't have expected anything different, to be honest. Yeah, the divest date had options for these HSW things in the files. Obviously, it's not available at the minute immediately, but it probably will become available. Um... The divest it's going to be redonkulous. It's still, to be fair, it's still going to be, uh, it's still going to be held back by its lack of traction. But holy moly, it could end up top super with the HSW upgrades, and that means I'm going to have to test everything twice. Oh, that's city, wrong one. Like, I'm going to have to test all cars if I continue testing in regular spec and HSW spec. I don't think I want to do that. I, I was already... I don't think I want to do that. <laughs> uh, what am I doing? I don't want bookmarked. Hey, Steve, what's up, man? Yeah, it's great, Sonny. Having a great time. I'm totally not going to end this stream and not touch it again. Uh, HSW mods enabled. The risk of sounding like a dick couldn't you just buy a couple of shark cards it's not worth it for us but for you and your videos it would be i think you underestimate the amount of time it would also take to build up everything again like i could buy a shark card i could buy multiple shark cards to buy the new cars for example just for testing i don't really want to do that out of sheer principle but um i could do that theoretically but it's not just about getting the new cars and then testing them. There's there's the fact that I'm on a brand new character and, you know, then out. It's just... It's just, it's it feels like an incredible waste of money to buy shark cards for a temporary account on a new platform when the whole thing is so broken and has so many issues that people aren't going to be on it anyway a lot of the well many people uh 
Right, let's see. How fast is it straight line speed wise? God, the motion blur looks horrific. Four point two four, which equates to damn, that's quick. Uh, what does that equate to? The top speed of the Turismo Classic under normal circumstances is 120, pretty much 121 miles per hour. With the HSW upgrades at 60 FPS, mind you, it's 150. <laughs> That's where it gets its lap time from. So basically, these HSW vehicles, they've just given they've just given them incredible straight line speed that's all they've done massive massive increase in engine power and turbo and all that just just given them that's that's all that hsw upgrades basically mean ridiculous top speeds <laughs> Which is probably going to be a lot of would be a lot of fun to race with, if I had my character and was it was going to continue playing this game. And you can race that 150 mile per hour sports classic with all the other sports classics as well, <laughs> where the best is the Z type at 126. Ah, <laughs> uh, 150, yeah. Jesus Christ. So that means the Banshee, the regular Banshee, is absolutely going to be quicker than the Banshee 900R. Okay, there's no way that it can't be. Regular Banshee with HSW upgrades will be quicker than Banshee 900R, no doubt. How special works is just higher speeds in straight line. Did it? What's, what's the Divest 8 going to do? The Divest 8 currently, what, 131 or something? With these upgrades, might be over 160, 170. Maybe they'll change. They, they might. They do do that. Um, engine upgrades can have different values. So the pariah. That's why the pariah is so quick, um, because the pariah has an engine upgrade that gives it 400% increase in engine power, whereas most other cars are like 100% um, uh, 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 increase. So. They they could make the devastate be less of a less of an increase, for example, but I'll never know until I test it. But I can't test them. Yeah, an HSW Banshee upgraded to a nine hundred R would get slower. Yeah, just like the LG. When you upgrade it to the LG Retro Custom, it gets slower. Hey, Summer. Summer's the best thing about the this morning and the expanded and enhanced edition of the game. Hey, come. Ah, there she is. <laughs> <sighs> so, yeah, that'll be us done. Um, again, Sorry to be the bearer of, you know, disappointing news. I'm sure some people are going to enjoy it and, and probably have a good good time with it. Um, who do I say about a stream refund? I know, like, the, the motion blur is... Yeah, I, I'm strugg I've am i struggled with it. I don't feel great after driving, even just a little bit. Um, so, yeah... Sorry, sorry to be, you know, bringing that kind of disappointment on people. Um, but I've always told it like it is, and I've always shown it like it is. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It's it's very disappointing, really. There's one or two things that they've done right and done good, and they're an improvement, and the rest is kind of, well, disappointing. There's no other way to say it. And I'm not surprised they dropped the expanded and enhanced name. 
So, yeah, I, d I had this week planned for, like, I, I had it all set out that I would just have a free week of no videos getting uploaded so that I had time to make videos on Expanded and Enhanced and do testing and put up testing videos and things like that. Um, now I don't know what I'm going to do this week. I'm going to just, I don't, honestly, I, I don't want to do anything today and I want to think about it tomorrow and start fresh and think about it. Um, but with the current situation that I'm in with the character stuff and all that, I just don't want to do anything. And the fact that the game isn't that much interest, there's not that much going on with it as an upgrade apart from the new vehicles. I'm probably just going to not, you know, not do too much. Um, at least today, I'll, 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 I think I'm just going to shut all this down. I'm pretty tired after the streams and, and I'll think about it tomorrow and figure out what I'm going to do, uh, tomorrow. Um, so yeah, sorry. <laughs> Um, now I'll just see how it goes. Maybe they'll fix the whole character transfer thing so that if you transferred to PC previously, you'll be able to transfer to PS5. We can only hope, but if they do that, then I'll transfer my character over and I'll test the new cars. But apart from that, it's just, you know, super disappointing. It's basically exactly the same game. There's no improvements anywhere else. With just a mini DLC. Um, I will put um, timestamps in this video when it becomes a video as well. So if you come in here late, feel free to check out the timestamps when it turns into a video and you can go straight to certain sections. Um, but yeah, thank you guys. Borrow someone's account. Well, the problem is that most people who I would borrow the accounts of, of all the car enthusiasts on PS4, are staying on PS4 because they've either already transferred their account to PC and can't anymore, or they don't want to just leave it and delete their PS4 account because everybody races on PS4. So this, it's just, it's just a joke, man. Well, what did we expect? What did we expect? Um, right. Uh, I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys. I'm, I'm meant to be streaming on Wednesday. I probably will. I don't know what I'll be streaming, whether I'll be streaming this or not. I doubt it. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll I'll catch you guys. I'll catch you guys on on Wednesday on the stream probably, uh, or the weekend at the stream. I'm going to be on five m on Sunday, the Sunday evening stream. So we'll at least get some random racing to to enjoy. Um, but yeah, as far as coverage of the expanded and enhanced edition score, anything beyond what has what has happened today, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. So. Don't know if it's being brought up, but if you borrow a HSW car, it isn't as fast. Like the mods are turned off just for them, but not for you. All right, okay. So you can't even I can't even borrow the cars then from somebody else. I would literally have to have somebody else's account that had the cars. <laughs> uh... I'm broke. So this is the face of a broken man. All right. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for being here. Thanks for the support. Um, like I said, I don't know what, what I'm going to do with the coverage of this, but don't be surprised if this is all we get from me for the coverage of this for at least the next week or so. Um, I'm not going to put any pressure on myself to, I'm not going to break myself to, you know, go through loopholes to try and test cars on what is a fairly disappointing addition. Like I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do it when I can, if I can. Um, and yeah, we'll see, we'll see what the next week brings and if Rockstar respond to any of it. So yeah, thank you guys so much. Thank you, uh, thank you for for being here. Thanks for everybody for the support. Um, yeah, just thank you, thank you guys, thank you so much for for everything. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you in a video soon or a stream soon. I'm not gonna suddenly just stop making videos or stop streaming. It's just, I don't know what I'll do with the coverage of these new gen versions, that's all. So yeah, thank you guys. I'll, 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 I'll relax for tonight. How about that? And then I'll 
come at it fresh tomorrow. Thank you guys so much. See you all. Uh, see you all soon. Bye bye.